So this is a follow-up video on the problem I was having with the sound cutting out in these TRN uh, BT20XS uh, Bluetooth uh, ear adapters. And I wanted to see if I could replicate the problem I was having before today. And the problem I was having before is you would put them on, connect them to the computer, it would do something which it looked like drop to a lower bit rate, and then it would sound distorted. Now I haven't been able to replicate that problem today, and I think I know why. It's Sunday, and we have a holiday Monday here in Ontario this weekend. So the offices, which are behind that wall, well, there's some space, but there are lots of number of relatively small offices, which each have their own uh, internet access points, and here completely drown out the 2.4 gigahertz um, band pretty well. Uh, to extend, I've got an, a little old PC that I use for a couple of server tasks that's connected here, and um, it was basically unusable for this past couple of days, but today it works fine, and I'm getting, you know, 0.5 or 10 Mbps out of uh, the 2. Out, off of the router. So uh, so clearly that problem is gone today and I tried these and I couldn't replicate the problem. But I also finally looked up and brought an old memory of how you can look at Bluetooth codecs on the Mac. So I thought I would do that. And, uh, and then we can look at what these things are doing when they connect. And that I think gives me a hypothesis for what's causing the problem when the um, when the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth is uh, very congested around here. And by comparison, I compare it to something that behaves, I'll wipe the fingerprints off of it quite well, which is the FIO BTR uh, 3KS, I can never remember, no, 3K, right, BTR 3K. This is, the 3 it didn't have the, uh, the balanced output, which I need to drive some of my headphones. Um, anyway, we can compare how this connects to the computer, and we can compare it to uh, how these connect, and you can see that they behave differently, and clearly there is an issue with how these behave when they're congested. Now, that might be related to them being um, uh, true wireless, so they have to save bandwidth so that they can talk to each other. And I will probably go and get a set of true wireless uh, earphones, other true wireless earphones, and see if we can see how they're connecting at the same time. So let me do that. I will then record my computer screen, I think, for that and put in a mic so I can talk over it. Okay, so let me do that and I will get right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got the console application open on my Mac. This is the easiest way, or the only way that I know actually, to see what Kodak's Bluetooth device are, are connecting with with your Mac. There used to be a number of other tools, but since the switch to Apple's own chips, a lot of that stuff doesn't seem to be working, and I think it's actually the operating system changes that have caused that. Anyhow, this is a fairly easy workaround. So I'm in the console. I've selected the device is this computer. You're not seeing that over off the side, it's just off to the left here, left of where the mouse is, because I don't want you to see the name of my hard drive and all that. Um, what I've done is I've got it set to search in any uh, process for the word codec. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that, and I'm going to start with the, uh, with the TRN devices that I've been having a trouble with and then we'll switch through to the other ones that I have here in front of me today. All right, so let's hit start, start, and now this is searching all the error or message log reports for the word codec. So that will pull in the establishment of a connection with any Bluetooth device. So I will take the uh, TRN BT20XS, uh, I have to look at them, devices out, and we can see that a whole bunch of things come up. This is presumably it negotiating the codec, and selected preferred codec is AAC. It's configured at 44.1 kilohertz. The codec is AAC LC, V variable rate maximum 
221 kilobits per second, one frame, blah, blah, blah. All right, so it's connected, that looks good. We're in AAC, that looks good. So let's play some music. So I'll go over here to iTunes and play something. Now, I'll need to set the output appropriately uh, on the computer. So I will set the output to zero reds. And you'll notice a whole bunch of other stuff popped out. So, uh, so it popped up a whole bunch of stuff related to setting up the audio for music to be played. And remember, this is so we know that the music is two channels, 44.1 kilohertz, 32 floating point. For I assume that's how it uh, does its math to uh, apply any sort of changes. Um, and we've got a whole bunch of that stuff. Okay, so let's hit play now. Um, this is Alabama Shakes from the Sound and Color album, just because that was what was up. So now we get, I'll just pause that so you can, before it doesn't put any up. So we get Bluetooth, adjust bitrate for Mac, codec type is AAC, and adjusting bitrate to 127 kilobits per second. So it's dropped the, the uh, bandwidth to 127 kbps. And I will say, today this has sounded fine. Um, I haven't done any critical listening to notice the lower bit rate. Um, I should be able to hear the difference between 127 or 128 and 256. I have in the past anyway where I've tried. So, well that's not so good. All right, so let's try with another device. So we'll put these away. And let's, okay, so those should. I'll just look at my Bluetooth menu here. You're seeing that. But yeah, you can see it's the zero reds are off. So let's open up the JBLs. And we'll take them out. So these are, well, eh, configured to 44 kilohertz, very uh, 224 kilobits, so same sort of thing, right? That's fine. Um, we'll just check over here on Bluetooth, and you can see the JBL tune is 130. It's being cut off because I'm only showing you a portion of the screen, right? Okay, so that's great. Let's try playing music through them. Let me just double check that we're actually set to output. We are not. Uh, I'll set to output to them. I'm using sound source here. And you see we get the whole, right, as it, as it resets this. It's, but we're still connected to, um, to those. All right, so let's hit play. We get a data link quality connection. I don't know what that does. But it appears to be maintaining the same bit rate, right? There's been no change. We still should be at 44 kilohertz, which is fine because that's what the audio file is. Um, and that should sound like everything else you would expect on a Mac uh, using Bluetooth uh, earphones in this case. All right, well, let's put those away. And now I'm going to turn on the FIO BTR 3K. This is not a true wireless device, of course. Both of those were true wireless um, things, right? So it disables 48 kilohertz. Device is not on 48 kilohertz AAC allow list. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't really matter. Um, we get down A to DP. Uh, configured at 44.1 kilohertz codec, AAC, LC, max variable, 256 kilohertz, right? Okay, so same thing. We'll just go make sure your file BTR 3K, there it is. Um, we'll make sure the output device is set to that. We'll hit and we'll get, right, a whole bunch of it configuring the uh, output. And we'll hit play. We get data link quality. We get some 
streaming stuff. I don't know. This is actually streaming from Apple, but it appears to be sending it just fine to this device. So what do we know from this so far? And I'll shut that off now. What we know from this is that the, uh, the TRN um, uh, Bluetooth adapters are operating at a lower bit rate than the other two devices I have here, the little JBLs and the uh, FIO VTR3K. So that means that in principle the sound quality ought to be better for either of those devices compared to the uh, TRNs. Now, I have a pet hypothesis that I haven't tested about this, so let's try that. I'm taking out one of the uh, TRNBT uh, 20 XSs. Okay, so I've taken one of them out. We shouldn't, yeah, we should see figured, right? So we got the same, more or less the same numbers, right? 2 and 41, one frame. Now I've only taken one of the two of them out. I'm just wondering if the bandwidth is going down because it's operating in stereo to two of them. So let me just change my audio output to them. It is. That's good. So let's hit play and let's see what happens. No, it still drops the blue chase, the bit rate to 127 kilobits per second. So what's the conclusion here? The conclusion is that these devices on this side, that is the JBLs and the FIO Bluetooth devices, are all connecting at a fairly high bit rate. Anything that's starting to approach 256 kilobits per second in AAC is going to sound pretty good. Right? So these are connecting at a high bit rate. These, for some reason, are dropping down to 127. And that's going to affect the sound quality. This is not, however, a replication of the problem that I heard earlier. I didn't hear any crackling when I listened to these. They sounded fine, and honestly, in the very brief listen, I didn't actually notice the difference between the 127 kilobits per second and the uh, and these ones. It, it's possible that that's not even a problem because we may be seeing two 127 kilobits per second um, streams to these two devices, right? I don't know. I don't really understand how the reporting is. I know with the Bluetooth uh, 5.3, and I know these are supposed to support it, that it actually, you know, the streams are set separately to each earpiece. So that might be what's going on. I don't know. Who knows, right? Um, so it's really difficult for me to interpret what I was seeing on there. But clearly they are doing something different than these devices are. And I'm going to have to look into that in a bit more detail. What I am going to try to do is replicate the problem that I had before. So I'm going to try to be here in a, on a day when the... Um, the 2.4 gigahertz band is totally trashed so that it's not possible to uh, so, so to try to force these to do what I think they're doing which is drop to a lower quality codec and see if I can hear the uh, the distortion that I was hearing earlier so what is as I started this saying what's the conclusion the conclusion is still a bit up in the air I think those results may mean that these are getting lower bit rate, but I'm not entirely sure because it might be separately to each earpiece, so in which case it would be unchanged. Um, this obviously doesn't have separate earpieces, and this I think is 5.2 maybe. I can't remember. Um, these are an old, these are now no longer made by JBL, so I don't know what those sorts of Bluetooth codecs look like when you look at them in the console messages. But, uh, so, I think this is part two of my look at these things and why they seem to be uh, not working as well as other Bluetooth devices. But there will be a part three and I'll see what else I can find out.
I will not be putting up my buy these kind of videos around these things. I won't be putting those back up, certainly not right now, because I still don't understand what's going on. But I think there's no doubt that one of the problems that causes them to sound bad is uh, low bandwidth availability in Bluetooth, and they aren't handling that terribly gracefully. So I will be back with more about these things as I investigate further. Thanks for watching, and I hope that's helpful.